Hello and welcome to Create PrestaShop 1.7 commenting module. So in this course, we'll be exploring step by step how to create a module that allow the users, the front end users to leave a command and also leave the ability to the administrator of the website, whether to approve or remove a specific command. So let's go ahead with a little demo and right here I'm on a landing page of my website and by clicking into a certain product I will notice that we have a command left by Mr. Someone and we can also leave our own commands. So right here I will say hello, this is a great course and by submitting I won't say anything, I'll just get the thank you for your review. But now, if I move back to the admin panel, and as an administrator of the website, I have the ability to control whether to publish and approve that command or not. So in the module manager, here is my module create or product command. And right here, I'm clicking the configure page. I'll be landing into the list of the commands that are existing and waiting for approval. So when I do edit, I'm actually approving this command. So right here, for example, our command, hello, this is a great course. When we do click on edit, we will turn him into an approved command and we could now see it on the product, the associated product to that special command. So now let me just refresh this page and we will have our command displayed correctly. And also it's possible to download all the commands into a csv file so by clicking on download right here you will have a downloaded csv that is actually located under the upload folder of your application or website and you have all the control to define where exactly you would like to store your um, downloaded file so by clicking on this file let's just open it I do see that I have pretty much all the information I need about a specific command and it's associated with who. So we will see also how to generate this kind of heading, heading for our CSV file. And that will make this exported file more readable and really useful for the end user. So welcome again to this course and hopefully you will learn some good information and you'll be able to create your own module and extend it to further operation and actions. So enough talking and see you inside the episode of this course.